Okay, what's up, you guys? I wanted to show you how um, I am going to be able to create this uh, like multi-colored shingle look. I don't know if you guys can see it very well. Anyways, I'm going to show you how I'm going to create the multi-color shingle look on these shingles, which is part of the um, skips, bait, skips Bait and Tackle Kit from Mind Mount Models. So he suggests to use a uh, dry brush technique, which I already started, and I kind of wanted to show you what I've done already. So the first coat I went over with was um, the... Barnwood, it won't focus there, Barnwood by Folk Art. Second coat is Mushroom by Folk Art. And I'm just going to show you guys real quick the technique I did. So this has mushroom on it. This part does not have the mushroom paint. So I quickly just get my brush, a little bit of paint on it, hold down the shingles because they want to move on you. And I just dry brush couple sections shingles want to pick up on you but you just basically dry brush the areas where you want some random patterns and uh, you'll go over it with a couple different colors and we'll come back here in a minute and show you the other colors the one thing I did want to let you know is you want to go in the direction of the shingles um, you don't want to go sideways because the pattern of weathering if it were on a roof that was sloped will obviously be vertical so try not to paint and dry brush horizontally on your shingles. But we got the second color down. Now we're going to go through with the third color, which is uh, Territorial territorial Beige by Apple Barrel. So we're going to add the third color real quick and then pause it and come back. So here is the third color. And we're going to go even lighter on this third one. And I think, oops, got a dark spot, a little bit too much paint. That's okay. I'll just add a little bit of, there we go. A little too wet on the brush here. Dry it out just a little more. There we go. We don't want there to be a lot of paint. Those two darker areas won't matter because we'll, they'll be randomized anyways and cut up. Just a little bit of color on this third coat. So a little less and less each time. And on the fourth coat, which is the darker one, which we're going to use burnt umber for. I'm actually going to try something different. I'm going to use a sponge really light. We'll see how that works. So we're going to come back after the third coat. All right, so we got the third coat wrapped up here. You can see there's now a variation, a good variation in color. Um, so now for this fourth coat, we are going to do um, a little sea sponge with some burnt umber. And I mean, this is going to be very 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 dry so we're going to blot a ton of paint out of it um i don't really want there to be much paint at all this might really turn out bad we're going to do this live here well not live it's pre-recorded but still i really just want like to get like a random speckle appearance on the shingles but since it's very dry it's just going to put light speckling. If I get a little dark, I'm going to smear it a little bit just because. I'm going to rotate the sponge as I go as to not repeat the same pattern the entire time. So let's come back here when I finish with this. Okay, so I'm actually going to change up how I was doing this. I was blotting it before and um, since this sponge has some longer um, like sp I don't know what you call it, sponge material, sponge feelers. I'm going to actually drag this and it creates a really cool, um, it creates a really cool streaking on the shingles. And that, I think, once it's cut up, obviously this is a long streak right here, but when you cut these shingles up individually, you'll see that the streaking won't, it'll be all random. It won't be long, big streaks on the roof, but this creates such a cool random streaking pattern. Um... And I really like that. So we're going to run with that. And I'll come back when I'm finished. Okay, so we're wrapping up this last little corner here of the streakiness on the shingles with the sponge. Um, it's the third layer of color. And I think these shingles turned out really sweet. Um, really no in particular pattern. 
just up and down, not horizontal. Um, got some cool streaks, got some cool patterns. And I think those are going to turn out to be some really cool looking shingles on the building. I'm just going to hit a couple little spots here. Um, but basically, we'll just cut these out now and I'll glue them to the building, glue them to this roof. Um, obviously, that piece is missing. But we'll glue them to the roof and this will create an awesome, uh, cool, streaked up shingle pattern and shingle texture. Should make for a very dynamic and a very... Uh, uh, colorful roof with a lot of depth.